Hey what's up guys, Sam here with Custom PC Review and today I'm going to give you guys my opinion on a couple mechanical keyboards compared head to head. So this obviously is going to be extremely subjective but since some of you guys did send me a message uh, about this after watching my video on the comparison between the four different uh, mechanical switches, I will give you an opinion. So basically I'm going to give you the four keyboards from my least favorite to my most favorite and I'll give you a couple reasons why I think that way for each of them. So my fourth one, basically my least favorite, is the SteelSeries 6GV2. So it's on the bottom of my list of keyboards not because it's not a good keyboard. On the contrary, I mean it's an excellent keyboard. It's got great build quality, um, the keys are nice and large and you know all that good stuff. However, I don't really like the Cherry MX Black key switches. Now the reason I don't like it is because I type a lot and I prefer using lighter key switches. Unfortunately, the Cherry MX Blacks at 60 grams of actuation force is a bit too heavy for me. Additionally, it also has a shortened right shift key and that's kind of annoying because it makes me type a lot of backslashes. And of course, right here, there's no Windows key. So as you all know, I do like having a Windows key just to open up the start menu. Um, you also don't get backlighting. There's no USB ports. There's no dedicated kind of media keys. It's kind of a function F1 through F6 kind of deal. Um, a couple nice things about this keyboard, of course, is that it is in, like pretty much indestructible. It's, it's a really high quality keyboard. So that's the good thing about it. Um, the 60 gram actuation force, and it might be bad for typing, but there are a lot of gamers out there that do prefer it because it allows them to kind of not accidentally hit the wrong button. Um, and of course, the matte finish on this thing really doesn't attract any fingerprints at all, so it's quite maintenance free. Okay, so number three was very close between the Razer Black Widow Standard and the DOS Keyboard Model S Professional Silent that I'm going to show you in just a second. But I did prefer the DOS Keyboard a bit more, so the Black Widow gets to be number three on my list. Now the Black Widow uses Cherry MX Blue key switches, which are clicky and have tactile feedback. So I like this keyboard because it's actually very well suited for typing. Um, I didn't have any problems with this keyboard when it came to gaming as well. So if you're planning to purchase one for kind of a dual purpose thing, this is great. Um, the macro keys on the left side are a great addition as well. It's always nice to be able to save a document or launch a frequently used application with a single push of a button. Um, it also happens to be the cheapest of all the keyboards, currently running at $69.98 on Amazon. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look as classy as a DOS keyboard, and it does feel the, like the least durable of all the keyboards. Additionally, it doesn't have backlighting, and it doesn't have media keys either. Okay, so number two on my keyboard list is the DOS Keyboard Model S Professional Silent. So this is actually a very nice no frills keyboard and as you can see it looks pretty classy as well. It has very basic functionality but it was designed from the ground up to improve typing speed. So for those who type a lot, this is probably the keyboard to go with. Um, additionally, for those who don't like the clicky noise on the Razer Black Widow, the Cherry MX Browns on the DOS keyboard will provide you the exact same tactile feedback, but you won't have that clicky noise. Um, additionally, this keyboard is very well built uh, when compared to the B Razer Black Widow. It also has a couple USB ports, as you can see here. So. Um, you know that's always a great addition to this keyboard. Unfortunately this keyboard is very expensive and at $135 it is the most expensive keyboard out of all the keyboards I'm comparing today. Number one on my list of mechanical keyboards and this is currently my favorite and it's the Corsair K60 
uh, mechanical keyboard. So I think Corsair actually did a excellent job with this keyboard. First off, it uses Cherry MX red key switches, which are pretty much exactly the same as Cherry MX black switches, except it has a reduced actuation force. So this means that the keys are springy, and you can spam keys just as fast as the Cherry MX black keyboards. However, it also allows you to type comfortably for long periods of time. And as you know, that's very important to me. Um, additionally, as you can see here, the layout is very good, a very standard layout. You also get these rubber keys that uh, have additional texture on them. So they're a bit more grippy. And you know, if you, your hands get sweaty or anything like that, these are better keys. They also come for one through six, as well as, as you can see here, the WASD keys. I also think the layout of the keyboard is uh, quite classy as well, if you can see it. It's got the media keys up here, uh, you know, very nice brush aluminum finish up here. You've got a very, very thick braided cord. And down here, by option, if you'd like, you can also attach a palm rest for your left hand only. And this palm rest right here sits very comfortably and really is designed for gamers in mind. So you can really access all the keys right here and you can just rest your palm right there. So I really like that little touch as well. Additionally, you do also get a USB port right up here at the top. So that's always good as well in case you wanted to plug in like a USB uh, flash drive or maybe your mouse or something like that. So that's definitely a plus. So anyways, uh, this keyboard does retail for $109.99, making it about $10 more than the SteelSeries 6GV2. So it's great. Uh, it's a great value as well. And pretty much that's why it is my favorite keyboard of the four I'm testing today. So anyways, to keep this short, um, that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, definitely if you have any questions, which you probably do, leave them in the comments below or you can hit the forums or something like that. Um, yeah, feel free to comment below, share uh, what keyboard you use and how you like it. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Um, I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.